Hey y'all, I'm Brad of Brave the Woods. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this caricature of one of my favorite television characters of all time, Ron Swanson. Now this is technically a style challenge episode, but unlike other challenges that I've done, I have a little bit of experience with caricatures. In high school I used to make caricatures of my friends and family all the time, and then I recently got hired to go to a South by Southwest event for a company and do some caric live caricatures for them. But this isn't a style I'm overly confident in or I even practice very much, so I still feel like this qualifies as a style challenge. Caricatures are portrait drawings of real people where you purposely distort and exaggerate prominent features of that person while still retaining their likeness and if it's your friend, your friendship. You're probably familiar with caricature artists who draw people live, but they're also commonly found in newspapers and magazines making fun of celebrities and politicians. The style isn't anything new and dates back to some say like the 1500s in Italy, but I don't think caricatures were popularized as an art style until much, much later on because one, they were drawn as jokes essentially, and two, Renaissance artists were going for true representation. So with that little bit of history, let's get started on Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson is a character from the hilariously funny TV show Parks and Rec. In order to create a caricature of Ron, I needed to pick an expression to be on his face that is classically his. If you've seen the show, you know he's a really grumpy character most of the time. To be honest, he kind of reminds me of Garfield. It helps to grab a bunch of images of that person as a reference. Or even just find one of those photos and start circling the areas that are most iconic that you want to exaggerate. Once I started sketching, I tried to focus on the features that I wanted to stand out the most here on Ron. Typically I start with the head shape, but I got way too excited to work on his eyes and mustache. If it helps, you can go to Photoshop and distort photos and use them as a reference. I actually didn't plan on adding color to this because I really like how the black and white grungy line version looked. But I added color to see how far I could push it. And looking at it now, I really like the color option too. I just used a digital paintbrush here in Procreate on the iPad Pro and started layering up the colors to build that dimension. And the last little touch is adding a photograph of some park in Indiana where the show takes place in this fictional place called Pawnee, Indiana to just drop in the background. And then I blurred it so it wouldn't be too distracting and it actually turned out kind of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I really enjoy doing these style challenge videos. These are some of my favorite episodes to do. So if y'all have any styles that you'd like to see me try out, please shoot those in the comments below and I'll take a look at those and who knows, maybe that'll make it into a future video. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for future videos and we'll see you next time.